that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse <laughs> Fortune Crow, we the magpies, apple orchard war dreams in a black eye, fathers forsaken, fathers revered, to either side the other is to be feared. Jericho, whoa, 
Does your soul see self-control? It is said that him without sin cast the first stone. It is said that him without sin show is Horses Say None of It. My name is Ralph Littman, and our guest today is Hayden Grayson. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks. It's a pleasure. That was an interesting song. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Psalm P-S-A-L-M for America. So a lot of people think it's song for America. I mean, it is a song. <laughs> but um, it's, uh, yeah. I should emphasize the M. <laughs> so... Um, it's a song that I swore I would not write, <laughs> you know, I, uh, it's like, I'm not going to write a song about America, I'm not going to write a song about America, I'm not going to write a song about America. I, I went home and I wrote a song about America because <laughs> I just, um, it just, it just sort of flew out into the air and, um, just sat and, uh, you know, it just kind of, <laughs> yeah, so, um, that was uh, this year I wrote that, and then it, it actually wound up becoming my first music video. Um, so that was interesting. So a song that I swore I would never write became my first like music video. Um, but um, it was done in Hoboken, and uh, um, you, were, you were saying, a, was that a poem before? You mentioned Hackensack, but, <laughs> but this was done in... Hoboken. Right, and people can go see that on our, your website, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube and uh, my website, and uh, it's, it's in it's in uh, it's in black and white. Um, and it was done on a weekend where it was like 80 degrees on I think like the Saturday, or, and then like 20 degrees on the Sunday. <laughs> and um, so I got out there and. I have to look like I'm warm, you know, on the video, and I'm walking around looking like doing my best James Dean, and I'm freezing, <laughs> you know, I'm, it's like 20 degrees with wind blowing like crazy by the river, by the Hudson River, right? And uh, I'm just, I had to do Kung Fu for 20 minutes just to stay warm <laughs> before we started filming, you know? It was fun. <laughs> so. Yeah. What else are you going to play for us? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a brand new song that I just wrote. It's called uh, Riddles in the Dark. Have you ever been this lost? Not just running in the dark, but trembling out in space. Every thought of who you were suddenly becomes a blur and you can't focus the frame. design I'm in your art can't wash you out of my heart show me a bit of skin never let me in did you do that deliberately look 
looked into my eyes too long, lingering on a song, centuries on repeat. Tell me riddles in the dark Get you out of my mind I need a crowbar Can't wash you out of my heart Don't tell me a riddle In the dark Puzzles and poems, I barely get to know them. I don't know if you'll ever flow. Tell me riddles in, in the dark. You're the queen of your kind. You've said au revoir. Can't wash you. Beautiful work. Yeah, that's it. Turns out that the song title for that one is uh, pretty sure the exact same title out of a chapter from The Hobbit. <laughs> uh, you know, Bilbo and Gollum are having at each other with riddles. The song has nothing to do with that, but uh, uh, it just. Uh, sort of happenstance <laughs> you know good thing titles aren't copyrightable right <laughs> um, so um. And tell us about where you grew up and how you got into music ah yeah well I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Jersey boy and um, my um, <laughs> Uh, my, my family um, really is on to classical music and um, you know, they're one, wonderful musicians th throughout my family and uh, my mother's very accomplished uh, harpist, she's Juilliard trained, so was my great aunt and, and great uncle and, and, and um, just you know, um, so with that thread of music running in the family, there was always a, I was very lucky, I, I guess I don't realize how blessed I was growing up to have a grand piano in the house and, and a beautiful golden harp, um, which I only play a tiny bit, but, <laughs> but I mean, you know, I thought that was normal. I thought, oh, everyone has a music room and there's a grand piano and there's a big golden harp and, you know. But apparently, eventually I learned, like the other day, that that's not the case. <laughs> So I'm very lucky to have had that upbringing. Thank you, family. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be able to hear growing up. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, you know. Where did you get bitten by the songwriting bug? 
That's a good question. Um, the songwriting bug. Um, yeah, I think my mom yelled at me when I, she was trying to teach me like middle C, and <laughs> you know, because I'm, I'm, I was like, oh no, but I want to like, you know. But no, she, no, she was great. Uh, I mean, I, I we, in the music room, it was just always open. It was just so wonderful to have that kind of unfettered access to a piano, nice, nice grand, grand piano. I mean, you know, to a kid, a grand piano, it's like, it's like the Starship Enterprise, you know with all those buttons you can press, right? And you can make sound on it immediately. So um, for all those of you out there who are growing up and still want to play piano, it's never too late. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, and, and it's just, um, I, uh, there's just something about the, the, the sound and color. I think having the grand piano helped because you, with the soundboard up, you know, you hear the acoustic sound reverberating you know I, I, of course I, it was too heavy for me to bring my to bring a grand piano here but <laughs> there's something about that that really resonates right to the heart and um, you know and my even my, like my grandmother she had an upright piano which um, I still have but maybe not for much longer because it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of uh, it's like 800 years old which is older than pianos I know that doesn't make sense but <laughs> um, so, like, yeah, so even, even, you know, even at my grandmother's house, we would always, we had a music room there, <laughs> you know. Um, so, um, but, yeah, the songwriting thing, I don't know, maybe it, was, maybe it was a rebel thing because everyone else sort of was like a brilliant classical musician, and I don't know. But I, I started off, I know my, my, my father exposed me to, like, Edward Lear, you know, poetry and, and great stuff like that, and, and they always played great classical music, which I appreciate more now, I think. Um, you know, how beautiful it is. You know, just the pure joy and beauty of Mozart to actually just sit there and just absorb it and listen to it and not just, oh, yeah, 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 you know, you know, so. Uh, yeah, that's a kind of a beauty that I can't touch, but I love songwriting, so, <laughs> you know. Um, you ready for some salty innuendo? <laughs> just, just low, we talked about this, like low salt innuendo. I've done this song at a church. God help me. Uh, can I say that? <laughs> um, yeah. See, my one side of my family is Catholic, the other side is Jewish, so, you know, I, I got twice the guilt. <laughs> I have to preface this song with that. It came out of a conversation with um, a friend of mine who's a waitress, and, you know, we joke around, and there's literally salt there. And, <laughs> um, you know, she's always telling me about how, oh, I got to get through school and pay the bills and loans and this and that. And we were joking around. And she's like, oh, you know, you know what's coming. If I just had a sugar daddy, <laughs> everything would be fine, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, we wouldn't do anything. We'd just talk. And he'd pay, he'd pay my entire tuition, room and board, and a car, and this and that. So anyway, this song was born. Take good care of me You know why I like ice cream It's cause of the sugar Daddy I know why you like me You need my assets badly Oh, I'm pretty savvy about sugar Daddy So take good care of me A girl's pretty and broke Sally, she needs a little love in this big city, sugar daddy, and a little piece of plastic to make her happy. That's a credit card. If love is bad medicine, a spoon of sugar, daddy, helps it go down. 
exactly I'm pretty savvy about sugar daddy take good care of me boy pretty and broke might be pretty broken sadly he's not just that body is witty sugar daddy he can't go out with nothing to wear except maybe in Vermont but he'll wear nothing for you gladly. All I want in my tea is some sugar daddy. Don't matter to me if you're fit or flabby. Fly me to the moon or Miami with you, sugar daddy. So take a Innuendo? Not much. <laughs> Not much? Oh, okay. I was all worried about that. <laughs> yeah, and, and yet, the church already happened. It, it's, it happened. I won't say which denomination, <laughs> but it was sort of, it was, it was, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should let folks know how they can find out, get to your website. Yeah, if they can spell my name. <laughs> It's, uh, it's Hayden, H-A-Y-D-E-N, Grayson, G-R-E-Y, S-O-N, okay? And dot people com. Be, dot, yeah, dot com, W's and all that. And, um, yeah. Uh, I'm so used to now to people calling me Grayson and Hayden because they can't figure out, like, which, it, which, is it Grayson Hayden or Hayden Grayson? And so I just respond to just about anything now. You, know, you, you can call me like someone called me Ginger the other day. But I was like, I don't have red hair. I mean, are there highlights? Uh, blonde, maybe. I don't know. No red. So I don't know where they got the ginger from. Oh, I know why. Oh, <laughs> I was drinking something with ginger in it. So it's really the, 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 the root, the, the ginger root, and nothing to do with the hair. Um, <clears throat> This is a terrible segue into a very depressing song. <laughs> okay, by the guy with two last names. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was. I, I was making fun of myself because I. I, I <laughs> um. Skip to the last song, then I guess. <laughs> Didn't realize we were going on for so long. Okay. All right. Anyway, if you like that, you'll have to come to a live show. Cause... All right, this is called Pirate State of Mind. I'm not the kind of pirate. Let's his freak flag fly in the street with a parakeet a patch on his eye in a defiant western ocean to sail on this ship just kind of drifts into the dawn yo ho of desperation yo ho ho you gotta help me find a yo ho ho better destination for the sake of this pirate state of mind pirate state of mind it'll double your trouble but in the shuffle we'll be two of a kind I've been shipwrecked with my 
my first mate and my a left at last with my cutlass by the bay it took years to resurrect now I'm out at sea again man who won't admit to what I am yo Hi.